we are observing two comets that are coming in November and December. So the first comet is C2020 M3 Atlas. This is a Atlas based discovery and it is a brightness of magnitude of 8. So a small telescope is required to see the comet. It is actually visible right now in the morning time somewhere between like 1 a.m. in the morning to 5 a.m. in the morning. It is available in northern hemisphere. You can actually see right below the Orion, right below the Rigel star. Uh, this was discovered in June 2020. The closest distance to Earth is 0.35 astronomical units. This comet is, the coma of this comet is pretty big. It's almost the size of Earth. It's like 27,000 kilometers. And the core of this comet is like 10 kilometers. So the second comet we are also observing is, it is visible later part of November and mostly in December as well and mainly in the southern hemisphere. But this one might get a bit more brighter than Atlas Comet, the 2020 M3. So this one may go up to like 6.5. So a binoculars may be able to resolve this comet. It is discovered in September 2020. And the close distance to Earth is around 1 AU. And uh, the coma is actually much bigger than the Atlas Comet, it is almost like a double the size of the Atlas Comet and the core is actually the same. It's almost like a 10 kilometer size. The initial observation shows the coma looks like the same as the coma of the Comet 46P, the Comet 46P Vertanen, the Christmas Comet that we observed last year. They these two comets almost looks very similar. They don't have tail. We did not observe the tail yet, but they do have coma, like the green hue around the comet. So in the night time or early morning, somewhere between one and five o'clock, right below the Orion constellation or next to it, right below the Rigel, you will see this comet. It is in the Lepus constellation, pretty close to Lepus, and it's bright enough for a telescope to resolve it. It's like in the magnitude of 8. Let's talk about the comet C2020 Erasmus comet. This one is going to get a lot brighter as it is getting closer to the sun. Even though I was telling you earlier that it is only visible in the southern hemisphere, but in the northern hemisphere, if you do have access to like lower part of the sky, like closer to the horizon, early morning, like around five o'clock before the sun starts coming up, there may be a small sliver of opportunity to get a look at this comet. Since it is bright, we may have a chance pretty soon. Actually, you don't need to wait till November. You can actually do this probably in October itself. Uh, starting today for the next couple of weeks, you should be still able to take this one. But you need that closer to the horizon kind of skies access available. All right. Thank you all for watching my channel. If you are interested in astronomy videos, uh, deep space objects, pictures, uh, and uh, more tutorials, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.